So, and in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do is, again, um, we're looking into rationalizing the denominator. And this is what we did at the beginning of class, if you guys remember. So since we can't simplify this, what we would need to do is I want to get the cube root of 6 so I can take the cube root of whatever my radicand is. Right now, I can't take the cube root of 6. So I need to take the cube root of 6 times 6 times 6. So therefore, I need to get two more 6s here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the cube root of 6 squared. Or you could think about 6 squared as 6 times 6, whatever way you want to think about it. Then whatever you do in the numerator or denominator, you have to do in the numerator. Why do you do 6 squared? Justin, could you put that down, please? Because I don't really know how you want me to change anything for you. I'm sorry? Why do you do 6 squared? Because basically when I multiply this, I have 7 times the cube root. 6 squared is really 36. Cube root of 6 times 6 squared is really 6 times 6, right? So if you think about it this way, if you think of 6 squared as 6 times 6, the reason why I want that is because I can only take the cube root of three numbers multiplied by each other. What's the cube root of 6 times 6? Justin, you're not, distra you're not kidding anybody. The cube root of 6 times 6 times 6 is just going to be 6. The cube root, what does the cube root ask, say? The cube root says, what number multiplied by itself three times gives you, um, you know, your radicand? Well, 6 times 6 times 6 is going to be 216. What? 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. But, so all it's asking you is, what number is being multiplied by itself three times? 6. So therefore, the cube root of these is 6. Yes?